ladies and gentlemen, I have an update for you. Now, previously, it was considered that there was six legendary item cap in the game. Now, I can't address whether that item cap that was in the game is factual or not, because I have not seen the programming data. I'm not a programmer and where to be able to tell you for a fact. I've seen it. It's in there. What I can tell you is some very respected people, namely Echo Hack, was able to test this with the Max Row team and find out that they believe there is a six item legendary soft cap. The same team has now confirmed that they believe that legendary cap is gone, which has been further confirmed by an actual official statement saying that the legendary cap is in fact cap. There is no legendary cap in the game. So as we stand currently in the game to put it to bed, there is no legendary item cap in Diablo Immortal. You are able to grind legendary items infinitely. Now you might be wondering, okay, DM, boy, is it some sneaky PR here? Are you some paid show that's saying there's no legendary item cap, but there's diminishing returns? There is no diminishing returns on legendary or set items in Diablo Immortal. This factually, it does not exist. So we're gonna test this because there was two opinions on this. One of which is that it either did exist and it was a bug or something that was unintended. Because I do believe Blizzard, Blizzard states this is unintended. Legendary item caps are not supposed to be something that was a design intent of the game. It was either a bug and not meant to be in there or it was a previous iteration of something that got left in, etc. I don't know and I doubt if they even know. What I do know is that their statement to us is that this definitely shouldn't be in the game. The reports of the game are making this a conversation and now magically it's not in the game. And then their intent behind this is always that legendary items aren't the focal point of monetization. Like you're not supposed to have legendary items be anything else than traditional Diablo experience where you go and you grind as many of them as, they, as you want. They're not trying to gate the game by these triple drops. Like they don't want you to have to sit there and wait for the next day to have to farm another legendary drop. This is not the designed intent of the game. And for this reason, now there is no such legendary drops. Now, whether or not uh, we're gonna believe this was in the game, it wasn't in the game, we can put our tinfoil hats on, debate about it all day. I don't think it really matters too much. What does matter to me in particular is the fact that this is not in the game and what is the actual intention of the game going forward. And now knowing the hardcore fact that this is not in the design intent of the game, the legendary items should be grindable. This is not something that's supposed to be walled out and you can unlimited grind for these as much as you want with no diminishing drop rates. That is heavily encouraging for people like me that want to sit and play the game for multiple hours. I have set up here and I have whined and mowed and bitched about all of the problems in the game like I do with any mobile game I will play. I'll always be honest and complain about the stuff that I, that I feel like is true to complain about. But in the same uh, you know, stroke that DM taketh away, he also giveth. And I would like to give credit where credit is due with this one and say, if this was a sneaky removal and like a, okay, well, this is something that we did design, but now that people don't like it, we're gonna move it. it. Regardless, either way, this was the right move. My feedback to Blizzard is the, the intent behind having legendary items not be gated by any aspect of gameplay is a good intent and should be sought to continued down that path as the game develops forward. I am in full support of having legendary items be not capped and having no diminishing returns. I think this is a smart, implementation of the game design in my own personal opinion. Now we can have discussions about the other parts of the game and we can try to move forward in progress about the other parts of the game as well. But for today, I'm gonna to take my W's where I can get them and I'm gonna say thumb up and hopefully you guys feel the same way that legendary items not being capped actually is a little bit of relief for you in an otherwise fairly stressful launch if we're all being honest. With that being said, I'm glad to have at least one positive bit of news for you guys. And we're gonna be testing this legendary drop rate itself live to confirm for a fact and see how many legendary item drops we can get live. With that being said, come watch me live at twitch.tv slash microtransaction. It'll be in the pinned comment and I will see you there.